Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about solving exponential inequalities. So first, uh, recall that in an exponential function, f of x equals b raised to x, b is greater than 0 but b is not equals to positive 1. Okay? So now, the key to solving exponential inequality is the fact that if b greater than 1 and x sub 1 is greater than x sub 2, then yung b raised to x sub 1 natin is also greater than to b raised to x sub 2. Okay? Otherwise, if b is between 0 to 1, or ibig sabihin yung b natin dyan ay fraction or decimal, then yung b raised to x sub 1 natin is less than to b raised to x sub 2. So, ano nangyari? Nung in-apply natin, guys, yung 1 to 1 property of exponential function, kapag ka yung b natin is between 0 to 1, magpapalit, guys, yung ating inequality symbol. Okay? Kung greater than, magiging less than. Kung less than, magiging greater than. Okay? So, try natin yan, guys, dito sa ating example. So, solve for the values of x. Number 1, b raised to x is greater than 125 raised to x plus 8. Okay? So, to solve uh, this inequality, guys, ang first step natin is to express uh, both sides of the equation in terms of 5. So, dapat yung kanilang bases ay parehas. ba? So, meron tayong 5 dito. Dapat itong right side natin, 5 din. Tama? So, para natin i -re right guys, si 125 in terms of 5. So, that is 5 raised to x greater than si 125. Same lang yan guys ni 5 cube. Tama? So, that is 5 cube times x plus 8. Yung kanyang exponent. Okay? So, naging 5 cube yan since ang 5 times 5 times 5 is parehas lang naman ni 125. Okay, so ngayon, pwede nating i-apply yung ating 1 to 1 property of exponential function. So dito, um, sabi dyan, if b is greater than 1, kagaya nung nandito sa atin, ang b natin is equals to 5. Tama? Which is greater than 1. So sabi dyan, kung yung b raised to x sub 1 is greater than to b raised to x sub 2, so, ibig sabihin, yung ating x sub 1 is also greater than to x sub 2. So, ano mangyayari dito? Pwede nating ma-eliminate si 5 dyan. So, magiging x greater than 3 raised to x plus 8 na tayo. Okay? Or 3 times the quantity of x plus 8. Tama? So, anong nangyari? Parang tinanggal lang natin si 5. Then, sinulat natin na yung ating bagong inequality in terms doon sa kanilang exponent. Okay, then solve for x. So, distribute natin to guys. So, we have x is greater than 3x plus 24. Tama? Then solve natin si x. So, lipat natin si 3x. From positive, magiging negative 3x tayo dyan. Then greater than 24. So, simplify natin to guys x minus 3x, this is negative 2x, greater than 24. Tama? So, now we can now divide both sides of the inequality by negative 2. So, maka-cancel out to. So, meron tayong x, then 24 divided by negative 2, this is negative 12. Ngayon, take note guys na yung ating uh, ginamit sa division is negative 2. Diba? Or negative. Pag negative yung ginamit nating pang divide or pang multiply, yung ating inequality guys is mag interchange din. No? So, kung meron tayong greater than dito, magiging less than. So, ito yung ating final answer. So, we have x less than negative 12. Nakuha? Okay. So, next, let's proceed to example number 2. Meron tayo guys dito, 1 over 7 raised to 2x plus 9 
less than or equal to 1 over 343 raised to x minus 5. Okay? So again, ang first step natin dito, dapat ma-express natin yung both sides of the equation na parehas sila. Meron tayong 1 over 7, meron tayong 1 over 343. Tama? So dito guys, pwede nating i-rewrite si 1 over 343 in terms of 1 over 7. Since yung 7 cubed naman is parehas lang ni 343, Tama? Yung 7 times 7 times 7. So, that is 343. So, therefore, yung ating inequalities pwede nating i-express bilang 1 over 7 raised to 2x plus 9 less than or equal to 1 over 7. Then, meron tayong cube. Tama? Times natin dun sa kanyang original exponent na x minus 5. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na natin i-apply yung ating property. So, but this time, uh, yung base natin, as you can see, is 1 over 7. And that is between 0 to 1. Tama? So, ano mangyayari ngayon dyan? Pag in natin, guys, yung ating property... So, ang inequality natin ngayon is magiging 2x plus 9. Then, sa may kabila naman, we have 3 times the quantity of x minus 5. So, so as you can see guys, nawala na yung 1 over 7. Tama? But this time, uh, yung, less than, yung less than natin magiging greater than or equal. Okay, magpapalit tayo dito guys ng inequality symbol since yung ating base is between 0 to 1. Naiintindihan? So, ngayon, pwede na natin isolve si x. So, try natin. First, distribute natin yung ating 3 dito sa ating binomial. So, that is 2x plus 9 greater than or equal to 3x minus 15. Tama? So, lipat natin itong 3x sa left side, then yung 9 sa right side. That's 2x minus 3x greater than or equal to um, negative 15 minus 9. Okay, so simplify natin. 2x minus 3x, this is negative x greater than or equal to negative 15 minus 9, that's negative 24. Tama? Ngayon, sa to eliminate yung negative dito sa ating x, uh, pwede nating i-divide both side of the equation by negative 1. So, magiging positive na yung ating x. Then, negative 24 divided by negative 1, that is positive 24. But this time, since negative yung ginamit nating pang divide, yung ating greater than or equal magiging less than or equal. Tama? So, ito na ngayon, guys, yung ating final answer. Okay? So, let's proceed to our last example, number 3. So, this time, meron tayong nakadecimals. Okay? So, 0 0.5 raised to x minus 1 greater than to 0 0.25 raised to negative x minus 2. Okay? So, may dalawa tayong base. 0 0.5 and 0 0.25 So, in this case, yung 0 0.25 pwede nating i-express in terms of 0, 0 0.5 Tama? Yung 0 0.5 squared guys, same lang yan ni 0 0.25 Okay? So, since 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.25 So, ibig sabihin Yung inequality natin is pwede nating i-express in terms of 0 0.5 raised to x minus 1 greater than to 0 0.5 then square then idadagdag lang natin guys yung kanyang original exponent which is negative x minus 2. Tama? Then next is pwede na nating i-apply yung ating property. So dito 
Since same na yung base, so pwede na natin tanggalin yan. Okay, so we have x minus 1. Then sa may kabila, we have 2 times the quantity of negative x minus 2. Okay? But this time, uh, yung ating base is between 0 to 1. Tama? Yung base natin is between um, 0 to 1. So, ibig sabihin, yung greater than natin dito magiging less than. Okay? Then, solve natin yung value ni x. Distribute natin to guys. So, we have x minus 1 less than negative 2x minus 4. Okay? So, lipat natin si negative 2x, then si negative 1 sa right side. So, that is x plus 2x less than um, negative 4 plus 1. Okay? So, x plus 2x, this is 3x is less than 2, negative 4 plus 1. This is negative 3. Then, divide both sides of the inequality by 3. So, maka-cancel out to. So, ang final answer natin ngayon, we have x is less than 2, negative 3 divided by 3. This is negative 1. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung ating final answer. Nakuha guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba mag-solve ng isang um, exponential inequality. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! Mm -hmm.